Hi, I'm Joel Lycatcher, and today we're talking Tannis Airless Tires. And I've got to correct this tire, and by correct it, I mean I've got to destroy the tire. I've got to correct this tire, and by correct it, I mean I've got to destroy the tire. Why? Because I made a big mistake in the first video, which you should see. I'll leave a link below for that. You see, I had trued this wheel. It was round, it was true, it was great. But when I put the tire on, I didn't warm it up to make it the most pliable, so I had a very hard time with it. And then after I put it on, this wheel was very out of true. So I treated it like I would any other conventional tire. I trued it. I tightened up these nipples here. I even broke one. I, have to she I sheared it off, which is one of the reasons I have to repair that. And I'll talk about that in a moment. And well, as you see in these videos here, um, the wheel got very, very out of true. You can see it bouncing around on this uh, trainer here in my living room. It's going up and down. It's going wobbly sideways. And there's no way to fix that with the tire on. I have to remove the tire so I can fix the spokes, so I can fix the tightness of the spokes and get it true to the rim so it is perfectly round and wobble free. Then I can put the wheel back on a brand new wheel, which I have right here. It's exactly the same wheel. I'm going to warm it up so it's more pliable. I'm going to stretch it out and I'm going to put it on using another tool which should make the job easier. Then once I've done that and it's all on and seated with the pins, I am not going to true it again. I'm going to ride it for the break-in period, which is about 75 miles. Then I'll check it for trueness. If it's still out of true, I'll decide then and only then if I should do any more adjustments to the spokes so that it should be you know, more round or less wobbly. But I have a suspicion that if I do it the right way with a warm tire, and a true, known true wheel, I'm going to have a much better result. And a true tire is a much more comfortable tire. By the way, you might want to take a look at this. This is the brand new tire. And this tire is shiny. It has like a coating on it. Whereas this tire is broken in. And you can see it's a little dull. It has a little wear on it. And it grips much better now because this has been broken in, and this is brand new. And after about 75 miles, this tire will look like this tire. So, without any more ado, let's get to it. There's a few tools we're gonna to use for this job. A knife, a utility knife, a brand new sharp one, which I'm gonna to use to cut the tire with. After it's cut, I'm then gonna use some strong pliers so I can grab the tire and pull it off sideways, ripping it out. Now, some of the pins may still be stuck. I might need these needle nose pliers to dislodge some of the pins. So this is gonna be a process. There's, I don't know how many pins here, <laughs> maybe 20, maybe 30, it's a lot. So let's go get through this. If you go to the Tannis website, there are several methods that they have for removing these tires. And the first two will save the tire, but this is a very small 20 inch tire and it's one and a half inches wide. And you really can't save this. If I try to save it, I'm afraid I'm going to destroy my rim or damage it. So it's not really worth it. So that's why I'm going to do the destructive method of cutting the tire off. So let's get to that. I wanna pick a side, be careful of the wires. I've not done this before, so let's see. Well, the knife goes in pretty easily. That's the first slit. I want to be careful I do not um, hurt my rim, so I'm going very slowly. Okay, I feel the rim. Don't know if it's all the way through, and you want to be careful you really don't do this on a pin, which I should have checked before I sliced it, but let's see. Okay. That feels like it's all the way through. Whoops, didn't want to do that because I could scratch that. So as you can see, that's, that's all the way through. Definitely all the way through. Take our pliers and see how well this will work. I'm a righty, so 
I'll do this like a right-handed person. Now, I'm going to have to make this a little smaller. Get a good grip on there. And let's see. Uh-oh. There's a pin. Let's see if I can get this. See, there's a pin right there. Let's see if I can slide it off with this. Oh, click that one out. Try the other way now. Oh, we got two clicked out. And I see I didn't cut all the way through the rubber. So while I'm here, I'm going to try and get down the rest of the way. I wasn't expecting this not to go all the way down. Okay, that's through now. So let's see if we can get this out. It's not quite, I'm sure once I get started, it'll be easier. I guess the lesson here is you need a long blade. It's another pin. Oh, now I see, all right. See that? Now we're clearly cut. Whoa, that was easy. See that? They just popped right out. Let's see if I can just pull it off now. Let's see. Let's try this. Yeah. The pins are just popping right out on their own. All right. And there's a defunct Tannis tire. Next thing I think I need to do is just inspect the rim. And by the way, you'll notice there's no rim tape that came off. Although, oh, you know what? There was a little still leftover rim tape from before. Looks like I didn't get it all out. So be sure you get all that rim tape off. This rim, this rim, this wheel was made by, this rim was made by Jacob on 5-12-2021. Okay, with that, we're ready to warm up this wheel, stretch it, and get it ready to be mounted on this rim right after I get it trued up. As you can see right there, if you pay attention, you can see how the wheel is bouncing up and down. And right about here is where I broke the nipple. Coming closer, you can see that. I don't know if you could notice it right there. This is just sheared in half. And also, I was trying to fix this wobble here. As you see, it goes up right there and then down right about the point of the brake here on the spoke. So we got to fix all that. And we're back. And we got my Falco hub motor here on the 20 inch rim from my Catrike Road. And we are ready to work on it. It's really out of um, true. It wobbles back and forth and up and down that you may have seen from one of the other uh, inset videos that I have here. Well, thanks for watching part one where I totally removed this Tannis airless tire. If you click here is part two. Maybe not a video for you, but it's a video on how I totally rebuilt this same wheel. And if you click here, there's part three on how I mounted a brand new Tannis Airless tire on this wheel. Thanks for watching.